In question 8 of the exercise, here's what the problem statement says. Find the sum of the first 51 terms of an AP whose second and third terms are 14 and 18 respectively. So this question is actually quite easy to solve since what we are given are the second and the third terms. And you know, the reason this makes the problem very easy is clear if you visually represent this information given to us. Uh, the second term is 14, the third term is 18. So because we are given two adjacent terms or two consecutive terms of the AP, we can immediately say that the common difference of the AP is 4, D is equal to 4. And now if you subtract this value of D from the second term, we will get the first term A which is equal to 10. So just by uh, using the fact that the second and the third terms are 14 and 18, we can find the value of D, that's 4, and we can find the value of A, that's 10. And now the AP is fully determined because we have the first term and we have the common difference. Now we will find the sum of the first 51 terms using the relation SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 times D. So let's plug in the values here. So n is 51 so 51 by 2 so we are we are finding s 51 now so s 51 is equal to 51 by 2 into 2a so a is 10 so 2a is 20 plus n minus 1 so n is 51 so n minus 1 is 50 into d is 4 so this is what we get as the expression for s 51 so let's calculate this now. So 51 by 2 into 20 plus 50 into 4 is 200. So we get 51 by 2 into 220, which is equal to 51 into 110. And 51 into 110 is uh, 5610. So the answer to this question is that the sum of the first 51 terms of uh, this AP is 5610. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.